A new catalogue of around 4,400 exoplanet candidates and 700 multiplanet systems has been created from observations made by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope before its retirement in 2018. Among the highlights of the catalogue is an extraordinary system of seven planets that orbit around a sun-like star called Kepler-385. It's unusual to have identified so many planets going around a single star. In fact, only the Kepler-90 system, with eight, is known to have more. But what's really distinctive about Kepler-385 is that all seven planets receive more heat per unit area from the central star than any planet in our solar system. All seven of these sweltering worlds are larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune. At the centre of the Kepler-385 system, which lies roughly 4,700 light-years away, is a star about 10% larger and 5% hotter than the Sun. The two innermost planets, both slightly larger than Earth, are probably rocky and may have thin atmospheres. The other five planets are larger, each with a radius about twice the size of Earth's and are expected to be blanketed in thick atmospheres. The Kepler mission, which launched in 2009, has been responsible for discovering the majority of exoplanets found to date. The telescope detected slight dips in the brightness of a star as a planet passed in front of or transited it as seen along our line of sight. Kepler's primary observations ceased in 2013, but were followed by an extended mission called K2, which continued until 2018. Earlier catalogues produced from Kepler's observations serve to show how common planets are in the galaxy, that planets are the rule rather than the exception, and that there are more planets than stars. This new catalogue focuses on producing a comprehensive list that provides accurate information about each of the systems so that astronomers can learn more about their characteristics. The new catalogue uses improved measurements of stellar properties and calculates more accurately the path of each transiting planet around its host star. This combination has shown that when a star hosts several transiting planets, they typically have more circular orbits than when a star hosts only one or two. Although Kepler's mission ended five years ago, the vast amount of data it collected continues to reveal new discoveries about other worlds in our part of the galaxy. This new study paints a more detailed picture of what each of those planets and their home systems are like.